They pulled out this cat from a trash can. When they cleaned it, they were shocked. The city was blanketed in the velvety cloak of nighttime, with the only sound being the distant hum of traffic and the occasional gust of wind rustling through the trees. Nestled in her apartment building, a woman named Emma was engaging in the routine task of taking out her garbage. As Emma approached the communal dumpster area, she stopped in her tracks, her senses heightened. A faint, almost ghostly meow punctured the silence. It wasn't the confident, demanding meow of a well-fed house cat calling for its owner, nor was it the robust yowl of a street cat in the midst of a territorial dispute. It was an unfamiliar, pitiful sound that seemed to be a cry for help. Curiosity peaked, Emma began to investigate, her eyes darting to every possible hiding spot in the vicinity. The meow continued, growing slightly louder guiding her towards its origin. As she reached the row of trash cans, it became unmistakably clear that the cries were coming from within one of them. Hesitating for just a moment, with a mix of dread and hope, Emma tilted the lid of the can. Peering inside, her eyes met the entrancing gaze of a magnificent creature, a cat of outstanding beauty with cascades of long silken fur was trapped inside. But this was no ordinary feline. Its fur, though once clearly luxurious, was now knotted and tangled, forming thick mats that clung tightly to its delicate body. The texture of the once regal coat told tales of prolonged neglect and suffering. However, it wasn't just the cat's appearance that held Emma's attention. Despite the predicament it found itself in, the cat's demeanor was surprisingly calm. Those enchanting eyes, so large and expressive, glistened with a mix of gratitude and a plea for assistance. The cat's composure, combined with its distinctive features, hinted at the possibility of it belonging to a rare or unique breed. Emma's heart ached at the sight. The juxtaposition was almost surreal, the evident neglect clashing with the natural elegance of the creature. How had such a creature ended up discarded like an old piece of furniture? Questions swirled in her mind as she carefully lifted the cat from its prison, feeling the fragile weight of the creature in her arms. Cradling the cat close to her chest, she could feel its heart racing, yet it made no attempt to flee. Instead, it nestled closer, its purring vibrations offering a gentle reassurance. The cat's gratitude was evident, but beyond that, there was a sense of mutual understanding. Emma knew that she couldn't leave the cat to its own devices. It needed care, attention, and most importantly, love. As she walked back to her apartment holding her newfound friend, Emma contemplated the cat's origins. The intricate dance of shadow and moonlight played on its fur, highlighting the unique blend of colors and the knots that marred its beauty. She wondered if it was perhaps a lost pet or if its unusual appearance had made it a target for neglect or abandonment. By the time she reached her front door, one thing was clear in Emma's mind. This cat, with its tangled fur and royal demeanor, was not just another stray. It was special, deserving of a second chance at love and care, and Emma was determined to give it just that. Upon entering the warmth of Emma's apartment, the cat seemed instantly at ease, exploring its new environment with delicate, silent footsteps. The dim light gave a cozy ambiance, revealing corners filled with plush cushions and soft blankets, a stark contrast to the cold metal of the trash can where she'd been discovered. Emma decided to name her Martha. The moniker felt fitting for a creature that radiated such a gentle and friendly aura. Although she had an aristocratic beauty, Martha's stature was surprisingly petite. Emma mused that she bore a resemblance to a blend of a Persian and British cat, with her short muzzle, large expressive eyes, and luxurious fur. Yet it was the latter that needed urgent attention. Attempting to give Martha some relief, Emma first tried her hand at detangling the matted fur. She collected brushes, combs, and even a pair of scissors, setting up a makeshift grooming station in her living room. With soothing music playing in the background and treats within arm's reach, she began the arduous process. Every brush stroke was met with resistance from the tight knots, and the scissors only managed to trim the very edges of the matted mess. Hours felt like minutes as she worked, but it was clear that this was a task beyond her expertise. The next morning, with the sun's first rays casting a golden hue across the city, 
Emma headed to a local professional groomer. Carrying Martha in a snug carrier, she entered the establishment, its walls adorned with pictures of pampered pets and their transformative grooming journeys. However, nothing could prepare the hairdresser for what lay inside Emma's carrier. Upon seeing Martha, her eyes widened in disbelief. She'd seen matted felines before, but Martha's condition was extreme. The mats were so dense and close to the skin that a simple shave wouldn't suffice. After consulting with Emma, it was decided that Martha needed a drastic full-body cut. Hours of meticulous work ensued. The hum of the clippers became a constant, and tufts of fur fell to the ground like soft snowflakes. But through the whirlwind of grooming activity, one thing remained constant. Martha's heartwarming purr. It was a sound of gratitude, trust, and contentment resonating within the confines of the grooming salon and touching the hearts of all present. When the last mat was removed and Martha was free from her tangled burden, her new appearance was nothing short of comical. She bore a striking resemblance to a small, feline dinosaur. Most of her body was shaved close to the skin except for a few tufts of fur on her tail, back, and head, giving her a playful, prehistoric look. Her large eyes, previously hidden amidst the overgrown fur, now stood out even more, reflecting her lively spirit. Emerging from the salon, Martha, with her dinosaur look, attracted many admiring and amused glances. But Emma looked beyond the humorous exterior. To her, Martha's transformation was symbolic of a new beginning, one filled with love, care, and endless purrs. The journey back from the grooming salon was serene. The city streets bathed in the soft afternoon glow. However, amidst the tranquility, Emma noticed something peculiar. Without the dense fur cloaking Martha's body, a pronounced round belly stood out. Each step the cat took seemed to accentuate its prominence. At first, Emma dismissed it as perhaps a result of neglect. Maybe Martha had been overfed or had worms. But as hours passed and Martha settled into her new home, the possibility of another cause for her swollen belly gnawed at the edges of Emma's mind. Could Martha be pregnant? The next morning, with trepidation pulsing through her veins, Emma booked an appointment at the local veterinary clinic. She carefully placed Martha in a carrier, ensuring it was cozy with soft blankets and a few treats. The drive to the clinic was filled with silent contemplation, as the gravity of the situation weighed heavily on Emma's heart. Upon their arrival, the clinic's ambiance, a blend of sanitized air, faint barking, and muted conversations felt oddly reassuring. Emma explained her concerns to the veterinarian who, after a brief examination, suggested an ultrasound to confirm the suspicions. Martha, with her ever-calm demeanor, lay patiently on the examination table as the cool gel was applied to her abdomen. The ultrasound machine hummed to life, casting a bluish hue on the room's walls. As the probe moved, the screen displayed blurry images, but among the haze, unmistakable shapes emerged tiny embryonic forms with beating hearts. The vet confirmed what Emma had dreaded yet secretly hoped. Martha was pregnant with three kittens. The revelation was bittersweet. On one hand, the miracle of life was always a joyous occasion, yet the circumstances under which Martha had been found and the potential risks associated with her upcoming delivery were daunting. The vet advised against sterilization due to the advanced stage of Martha's pregnancy, as it would pose a significant risk to both the mother and the unborn kittens. Realizing the urgency, Emma sprang into action. She transformed her spare room into a birthing sanctuary, complete with a spacious birthing box lined with soft blankets, a heating pad for warmth, and a selection of nutritious cat food to support Martha's needs. The room was kept dimly lit, exuding an aura of calmness with gentle lullabies playing in the background. She also stocked up on essential supplies, including kitten formula, feeding bottles, and an emergency first aid kit. As days melted into nights, Emma kept a vigilant eye on Martha. She'd often find her nestling in the birthing box, seemingly preparing herself for the imminent arrival of her babies. Emma took this time to educate herself on the birthing process, reading up on potential complications and seeking advice from experienced cat breeders. Their bond between Emma and Martha grew stronger during this waiting period. Their moments together were filled with gentle strokes, shared silences, and mutual understanding. 
Although the journey had been unexpected and fraught with challenges, both were ready to welcome the new lives that would soon grace their world. The promise of tiny meows and the pitter-patter of little paws made every uncertainty and anxiety worth it. With the nearing due date and Emma's work commitments, a crucial decision had to be made. She wanted to ensure that Martha received the utmost care during her delivery, especially given the unpredictable nature of birthing. After researching and seeking recommendations, Emma discovered a renowned animal hotel in the city, reputed for its specialized birthing suites for expectant mothers. The animal hotel was a haven for creatures of all sizes, with spacious rooms bathed in natural light, ambient music floating in the air, and a team of dedicated staff with a genuine passion for animals. It was the perfect place for Martha's impending delivery. Each suite was equipped with state-of-the-art facilities and a 24-hour vet on call, ensuring that any complications could be addressed promptly. Three days after settling Martha into the hotel in the soft glow of dawn, the miracle of life unfolded. Emma received a call from the hotel staff, her heart skipping a beat as the caller ID flashed. The voice on the other end was filled with joy and excitement. Martha has given birth. Without hesitation, Emma rushed to the hotel. Upon arrival, she was led to Martha's suite. Pushing open the door, a heartwarming scene awaited her. Martha, with her newly groomed fur gleaming, lay nestled amid soft blankets. Tucked close to her were three tiny bundles, their small forms rising and falling in rhythm with their gentle breaths. Each kitten, a delicate replica of their mother, was a testament to the beauty of life and resilience. Emma approached, her steps soft and cautious. Martha's large eyes, filled with pride and contentment, met hers. A soft purr rumbled from her throat, as if to say, look at what we've created. It was a moment of pure, unadulterated joy. The room was filled with an energy that words couldn't capture, a mix of awe, happiness, and a sprinkle of magic. The days that followed were a blur of activities, feedings, regular checkups, and the kitten's first tentative steps. Martha was a natural mother, attentive and protective, her instincts shining through. Emma visited daily, her bond with Martha deepening and new ones forming with each kitten. Finally, the day arrived when Martha and her kittens could be brought home. With a heart full of gratitude, Emma bid farewell to the Animal Hotel staff, promising to visit with updates on the little family's progress. Back at home, with Martha and her kittens comfortably settling in, Emma felt compelled to share this heartwarming journey. Booting up her computer, she began to document Martha's story, from the fateful evening by the trash can to the miracle birth at the Animal Hotel. The tale, imbued with love, resilience, and hope, was ready to be shared with the world. As the story concluded, Emma addressed her audience directly, her voice earnest and heartfelt. Dear friends, stories like Martha's remind us of the beauty in unexpected places and the strength of the bonds we can form with these wonderful creatures. If you've been touched by this tale, please like and subscribe. Join us in celebrating and sharing more heartwarming adventures like this one. Remember, every like is a nod to the beauty of life and the hope for more happy endings.